Hello everyone, alright, so in this video I'm going to show you how to add your own custom paintings into Minecraft in the Conquest Reforged mod. Like you can see here in the background we have some beautiful altar pieces there and some nice uh, wood paneling and all that. Yep, and I'm going to show you how to do this so your walls aren't empty and ugly and lonely. Yep. Alright, so I've been meaning to make this video for quite some time now, um, yeah, so now I'm just basically going to show you how to add your own custom paintings into the Conquest Reforge mod for you to use as you please. So, in the description of this video you'll find a link that'll give you this file here, this is the custom paintings overlay file for the Conquest Reforge mod. This is a completely safe file, you can download it and it should look like this, this is a zip file, right? So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is unzip this, right? That'll make it a lot easier for you to edit the paintings for yourself. All right, now that I unzipped this file, you can see this is what it looks like on the inside. There are a couple files here that we can unpack, right? So first we have the read and heat, that doesn't matter for us. Pack PNG doesn't really matter either. I mean, you can edit it if you like to have your own like icon in the little resource pack folder, but you don't have to. Pack MC Meta, this is what turns it into a resource pack. The only file that really interests us is the assets pack. When you double click this, you're gonna have a conquest folder. Click it again, textures, and click it one more time. It's pretty hard to go wrong. And then you get, once you click on the entities thing, again, you get to the paintings file. You now, if you open the paintings file, you're going to see all the paintings in game, right? These are the one, so each one of these images correlates to one of the paintings items. So we have nine of those all together. So this is like, fucking, I don't even know how many. Each one of the paintings item has, I think it's 69 or 70 paintings, which means you can edit and add your own, you could edit in theory, you could add 69 of your own custom paintings to each one of these image things, so there's more than enough paintings for you to add to your game, right? Now, the way we're going to edit this is quite simple. I'm just going to use Paint 3D, you can also use Paint. The reason I'm using Paint 3D is because that's the, the, the paint software that every single Windows computer is equipped with, right? If you're on a MacBook, you can use the Paint equivalent on that. If you don't have any of those, you can go to the web and download Paint.net or any other photo editing software. Alright, so we're going to click it. We're going to click on Edit with Paint 3D. Alright, so now I opened the first painting with Paint 3D and now the real fun starts because now I can start adding my own paintings to this file, right? It's pretty simple. You choose what paintings you want to have. Then you choose any of these, these, these little colored squares, right, and replace the colored square the exact size of the painting that you want, right? The different sizes of the squares correlates to the size of the blocks that the painting should cover in game, right? So the smallest square is, is of course a painting that's one by one block, whereas these larger ones is a one by two blocks, uh, this one's two by four blocks, and the largest ones are four by four blocks, right? So keep that in mind when adding paintings. If you have like a really small painting, it doesn't really make sense to have it on the size of a four by four block because that will be a bit large in game. All right, so recently I was in a few museums and cloisters and I took some pictures of some of the wooden panels and pa art, like medieval art that they had there. And I'm just, I've been wanting to add these into the games anyway, so I'm just gonna add these now to the game, right? And the way I'm going to do this, I'm going to go to Paint 3D here, right? Let's start off with this one. That's the simplest one. Whoops, if it'll load. There, boom, see? So now it's pretty large, right? I'm just gonna hold shift down and make it a lot smaller. The, let me see, I think this painting is best if it's a two by two. So I'm just gonna make it a little bit smaller here. Make it turn it into the 50, the 51. Make sure that the corner aligns perfectly with the red box. And the other side too. I might have to stretch it a little bit, but that doesn't make that big of a difference as you can see. I believe this painting is depicting three saints. I think it's Bartholomew, Philip, and I'm not sure who the last one is. It might be James, but I'm not 100% certain. Boom, let's just click that in, and that's done. So now you can see it's a lot more pixelated, which means it'll fit a lot better into the game. And now if we, if we were to save this, it'll automatically be in the folder, right? But I'm not done yet, so we're gonna add a couple more. The next one that I would like to add is, let's go with the, let's go with a wooden panel. I think, I'm not 100% sure, oh, this is a large painting. Okay, I might have to make the, yeah, this, <laughs> I might have to cut this in a second again, but it doesn't matter. Anyway, make this smaller. 
Uh, I think this is also probably a two by two. I feel like if it's a one, if you have it on one by one scale, it's a bit, oh, whoops, shit. I feel like you have it, if you have it on one by one scale, it might be a little bit too, um, too small and too pixelated for, for you to be able to see anything, to be honest. So yeah, let's go by two by two. Let's put it on the 52, right next to the 51. Go up to the corner, there, fit it into that corner. And there, fit into that corner, click. Now it fits perfectly, there we are. Okay, all right, that's already not bad. That's not bad at all. The last painting we're going to add is the Triptychon. I believe this was in St. Agnes. This was in St. Agnes uh, Monastery. This painting, I think, would best fit on a 2x4. Something that you can also do, which I did with some of the other resource packs that I've made, is you can cut this image, so if you have like a, a nice panel like this, right? So this triptychon, this is an altarpiece, right? And it's made up of three panels. You have the largest panel in the middle and two side panels. These side panels would have been the Normally you would, would you would fold these in whenever the, the altar isn't being used But something that you can do is you can edit this painting, right? So it's three separate paintings then you can have the two side panels be these vertical paintings, right? And then the middle one be a square one that way you can use the two side panels separately if you please or all together Right, but for the sake of the video because it's a lot easier for me. I'm just gonna plop that right there all right, so you might have to, so we're gonna have to stretch this painting a little bit. Let's hope it doesn't look stupid when I stretch it. I thought this was gonna fit pretty perfectly, but I guess not. I mean, to be fair, that's still not bad. And boom, there. That looks pretty good for an altar piece. All right, then what I'm still gonna do is, because this image here that we added was way too large, we're gonna cut it. It has to be the exact size because otherwise the format, the format in game, will get all fucked up, and we don't want that. So there, that corner's right where it should have been, and this one we're gonna put right where it should be as well. Do 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 do. There and done. All right, now it's perfectly sized again. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna save it and then we're gonna check back on the files. All right, back in our files, as you can see, there's the painting zero and I don't know if you can see that, but like very, very small, you can see the paintings that we added, right? So now the only thing that we still have to do is we have to rezip this file and then it's fit for being a texture pack or an overlay. So we're just gonna go to, where is it? There, the custom paintings thing. I'm gonna select all of this and I'm gonna click on zip to make a zip file, let's call it paintings. All right, now we have a paintings file. That's very, very good. All right, we have a nice wall that we want paintings on. I'm gonna click escape, options, resource packs, open pack folder. Boom, there, my pack folder opens. I'm just gonna drag and drop the paintings into the resource pack folder. Did that work? Yeah, it did work, boom. Paintings into the respect folder. We can close all of this now. All right, so now I'm in game again, all right? And there we have our new paintings folder. So now we're just gonna add that to the very top and click done. Make sure that the overlay is at the very top of the list because otherwise the other ones will override it. So you want the overlay to override all the other resource packs that you have. And now we're just gonna wait for it to load. Shouldn't take too long because it's only an overlay and it doesn't have that much information in it. Alrighty, there we are, finally loaded. Okay, so now if I go to my inventory, right? Okay, here we have our nice little wall, right? Baron, and we want a nice painting on there, right? So if I go to my inventory, go to the search items and type in paintings. Oops, for painting, I guess. There's a bunch of things that pop up here, right? The first one is just called painting. This is the Minecraft default block just retextured, right? The second one, this is the one I think we retextured. So painting zero. But as you can see, for each one of the painting PNGs that we had in the resource pack, 
we have one item that we could completely fill with custom paintings if we so choose. So we're just going to take the painting zero and let's scroll through to see if we can find our painting. So there are the, the two. There we are. Okay. So here, as you can see, our beautiful custom paintings worked and now we have some beautifulness here in the game, right? Here's our triptychon. Oh, that looks, that actually looks really, really good. I'm not going to lie. Oops. There. Let's just have it like that. And now if I wanted to, because these, of course, I, I think these always look a little bit flat, right? If I want to, I can just grab some. I'm just going to put this one higher. Fuck. God damn it. Everything breaks when you try to do it in a video. Okay, there we are. I'm just going to take some, uh. I'm just gonna take some lintels, right, and make a nice little picture frame for it like this. Oh yeah, look at that. Ain't that just beautiful? Oh yeah, look at that. A nice picture frame for our paintings. And this this one here, we this is an altarpiece, right? So you wouldn't really be having this hanging on a wall anyway. But like I said, if you did this in three different sections, you could theoretically have like only the middle piece hanging here, or only the side pieces, right? There we are. See, you could just walk into a church and see a beautiful altar like this. That would just make my day, wouldn't it? Alrighty, so there now. And that is, yep, that's pretty much it. That's how you add your own custom paintings. You can do this with any type of painting, right? I just chose Bohemian art because I was looking at, I mainly build medieval and I was looking at some nice medieval pieces the other day. That's why, you know. So, yeah. All right, everybody. Well, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it could help. Um, I tried to explain this as easy as possible. I know a lot of you have been asking about how I put paintings into my resource packs, so yeah. Now y'all know, if something doesn't seem to work out for you or you don't know how to do something, just ask in the comments down below. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you again next time. Have a wonderful day. Peace!